Hello Libra and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Honestly, the feeling that I'm getting here is, and this person may have lied to you, betrayed you in the past. They've got something that they need to um, make right here. I feel like there's some kind of apology this person needs to make. And the, as soon as this card came out, I felt it. Um, the divine is really giving this person messages left and right. Get moving, buddy. You're, you've been sitting on this, watching the collective for far too long. It's go time. It's time for you to speak your truth. You've got, look, the divine is saying, look, you know, pal, we know the collective is beautiful and gorgeous and you can't stop obsessing about their glow up and their beauty and, um, you know, their intuition, right? But it's time for you to get moving now. It's time for you to get moving, get up from the seating, the seated position, right? Um, stop watching the collective and like globbing on to their energy and do something about it. It's time for you to actually take some action, right? Moving forward here. I feel like this is you. They don't want to let you go. And you're moving forward. Um, you've been put through it. You've been put through a battle. You know, honestly, there's something about that here with this person. I got to say, I just felt the twinge of it. I feel like this person's been through some things in their past, too, that they can't seem to let go of. And maybe it's, it's giving them a lot of fear, anxiety, you know? Uh, PTSD, right? Uh, yeah, they could have been through some bad things in the past, maybe suffered a lot of heartbreaking, a lot of betrayal, um, heartbreaking energy. Yeah, this person needs to let go of some things from their past, I feel. They need to take some action, not just towards you, but to heal themselves, okay? Um, yeah, it's, it's time to get over those things from the past and choose a new path for themselves. Definitely past energy here. I feel like this person, they think about this a lot. I'm really getting the feeling like it's childhood trauma. Like something happened to this person in childhood, but it's time for them to move forward. It's time for them to get control right? With them holding the world in their hand, it's time for them to get control over this. Heal from it and release it, okay? And then take action and go after what they want here. Yeah. Clarify this two of wands. I don't know what this person went through, but I feel like it has something to do with the child, with their childhood, childhood trauma. Well, they've gotten themselves uh, mixed up with the Queen of Wands energy, okay? So it's, uh, they have a choice to make between a Queen of Wands and a star. <laughs> um, here's the thing, this is somebody who's been through a battle too. They've got, whoever they are currently with, um, this person is really, they're, they're hitting rock bottom for the person that they're currently with. You know why? Because they both share some kind of trauma bond. That's what, I feel like that's what this is. This person has been put through a battle. This person has been put through a battle. They share the same kind of childhood trauma bond. That's what this is. And I feel like maybe it's difficult for this person to turn their back on this Queen of Wands because they've shared so much as far as that trauma goes. But here's the thing. I mean, I, this person may feel obligated to stay with this Queen of Wands energy. They both have some childhood trauma, I'm telling you. And here's the thing, this person, though, they're sacrificing their blessing here. You know, I don't think they're in love with this Queen of Wands. I feel like 
they're staying because of the, they feel obligated. Maybe they're even afraid to leave the Queen of Wands, this Queen of Wands behind because they've been so hurt. Maybe this person is afraid of what they'll do them, to themselves if they're left alone. Maybe neither one of these people really want to be alone. Okay, so they have a, they could have a fear of being alone. They could have a fear of abandonment. This person is afraid of what this Queen of Wands, I think, will do to herself if he leaves her alone. I feel like they're, they've both suffered some major trauma here. And, I mean, their life isn't going well at all. But this is like, I'm looking at these two as both people who have been both beat up by something in their past. And there's, it just feels like they're stuck like glue to each other. But it's not a love situation. I feel like it's, it's a codependency situation. That's what I'm feeling like. You know, and they could have been with this person up to six or seven years. This could be a long-term commitment that this person's been in. And um, they're realizing, though, year after year, they keep trying to keep it together. But they are realizing, though, that they th this investment is not going well. Okay? It's time for them to heal, release take action towards what they want. They need to grow up a little and grow out of that childhood trauma stage, you know? Because, I mean, they're even acting very childish here, too. You know, sometimes when you get hurt as a child, when people get hurt as a child, they kind of stay in that age, okay? It's almost like, they carry that pain with them as they, like, say something happened to this person when they were eight years old, right? They stay in that age as they f focus on that trauma their whole entire life. So, you know, I, I feel like they still have that childish way about them, sort of feeling sorry for themselves here, okay? But the divine is telling this person, look, you got to learn your lesson from this. We're, we've been giving you um, messages to take action. Go and apologize here. Build something solid for yourself. You can have something solid, something committed, something strong with a very loving queen of cups. An empress. I feel like this person, they're being told to go towards somebody who's a healer. You know? That's the feeling I'm getting. You, And you happen to be an empress too, yes. But you're a queen of cups. You're in queen of cups energy. You're a healer, an empath. And this is why I feel like you were the blessing for this person here. You were sent into this person's life to try to heal them from this stuff. And they turned you away because they're codependent. They're in a codependent relationship because of that trauma that you were sent in to heal. Does that make sense? You could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus. I don't know why I'm here in Virgo. Um, Aries, Aquarius. What is this person going to do? Because they keep watching you. They're watching your glow up. They keep track of you, Collective. They do. Um, their heart wants to go to you. Do you know what I mean? But their mind is telling them, you know, I, I can't leave this Queen of Wands. We, we've got this trauma bond and all. Uh, but neither one of us want to be left alone. Um, yeah, it's, it's something really weird about that. Show me more about this. Yeah, see, I feel like something happened to this person a long time ago. When they were young, 
very young. And it may have had something to do with um, something sexual. Something, something flipped up in the deck, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, see? And there's their trauma bond. There it is, right there. Some, something happened to both of them that was very similar. And it could have been something sexual, okay? When they were very young. Both of them. Both of them. And it's all, you know, they're in the same boat here together. Do you see what I'm saying? They're in the same boat. But here's the thing. All of these swords, those are the memories of that traumatic experience for both of them. These swords should be behind them in the boat. Okay? But um, it's ahead of them in the boat. They're, they're not actually healing from it. They're just... I don't know. They're living it every day in, in that codependent situation. Neither one of them want to be alone. They're afraid to be without each other. Um, it's the bond that they have. I, I don't think they ever had actual true romantic feelings. Neither one of them. I feel like it was always the trauma bond. It was always the similarity of what they went through as a child. Okay, that's what it is. Now this person is getting to the point where they're ready to take a new leap of faith. They're, they're, they want something new. They don't want to be in that energy anymore. You know? But I feel like they're afraid to cut out this other person that they're with. Yeah, you're moving forward here. See, you're the, you're the true prize out here. Your Queen of Pentacles energy, here's that Virgo energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and you're moving on. You're focused on you. I feel like the divine is trying, the divine is intervening here. I, I'm just really getting the vibes that um, the divine is taking the situation over, okay? Because this person is just too burdened. They just don't know what to do. They don't like being home because they're constantly reminded of what happened to them during childhood because that's what their whole connection is about. And they're constantly carrying these burdens. And the divine is trying to tell this person you have to drop the burdens so that you can breathe again. That's the song I just got. Um, so they can live again, okay? You've got to drop the burdens. You've got to try to heal um, those memories and the pain from the past. Okay. They carry this burden around with them like every day, everywhere they go. And they, they're, it's getting to the point where it's hard to go home now because they realize the situation that they're in. They know they don't want to be there anymore. They know that they love you and you're moving on. They may feel a little bit like they, they're not worthy. Okay, but it's all been taught to them. That's learned behavior. And I feel like that's it stems from what they went through during childhood. Okay? Yeah. I kind of get the sense that they're listening to this, and I just kind of gave them a tower moment. I'm really sorry. That's the feeling that I'm getting. I got to put it out there. I'm really sorry. Um... Maybe this, this is something that you already knew, or maybe you told this to them in the past, or uh, I don't know, maybe you picked up on this energy. You could be a tarot card reader out here, and you could be putting it out there, and it's given them a tower moment. Um, this could be secrets that they're trying to keep hidden, and they can't anymore. It could be getting exposed. Yeah, here's these two talking to each other. And it's not good. This is how they talk every day. They're very cold, harsh, and cutting with each other. It's like they don't even have good communication. At least not anymore. Whoever they're with knows that they're in love with somebody else. They know that this is coming. Okay? 
And I feel like they give, they may give this person like guilt trips. I don't, I, I'm just picking up on that intuitively. Okay. They could be giving your person guilt trips. You know, how could you leave me? Tell me the truth. I know you want someone else. This person may say, you know, no, I don't, blah, 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 you know, um, I don't know. I, I just see these two going at it. And it, it, it's, it, it's like maybe they just can't keep it a secret anymore or something. Clarify this, High Priestess. Yeah, you you can sense that this person wants to talk to you. This Queen of Swords that they're with, they can sense that this person wants to talk to you. You know, everybody's got that intuition, man. And this Queen of Swords um, is very intuitive. Yeah, she knows your person wants to walk away and they want to come and make you an offer here. She knows this. Okay, give me a couple more. Yeah, I feel like it just, it's something that can't be hidden anymore. That's really the feeling I'm getting off of this. It, it can't be hidden anymore. So, yeah, I'm really getting the sense that this is a situation that's going to come to an end. You know, the divine is kind of calling the shots on this. But it, it, this person, they want to come and reach out to you. You may hear from this person here soon. Um, a simple text message, something like that, saying that they want to talk to you. Maybe saying that they want to explain. They, they may even tell this person over here, I think we should just be friends. That could be something that they... Yeah, they're, they're talking to other people about you as well because, you know what, they want this. This is their destiny here. They want this with you. And they know, too, that you're ready for love. You're out here single. You're the prize. And if this is your person's energy, when they come to talk to you, man, they want to offer you that one last pinnacle that you don't have and make it a soulmate connection that's meant to last. They see you as the one, the one they actually want to commit to. But they have got to break free from this trauma, this trauma bond, and they've got to heal from it first. Yeah, expect this person to reach out. Yeah. They're, I feel like they want to explain everything to you here. Um but I also see them giving to other people. So they're still giving to this Queen of Swords. It is about to come to an end, though. This person's starting to wake up. They, they see the mess that they're in. They know what they have to do. And I feel like this person's about to reach out and try to change this with you. Okay. Um, let's get some Romance Angels on it. You could be dealing with a Pisces. A Cancer, a Virgo, um, let's see, what else do we have out here? <laughs> um, yeah, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, maybe a Sagittarius. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, that's the first line. <laughs> As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Yeah, this person is being told to heal from that trauma and release it, okay? All right, what else can you show me here? They may even want to heal things with you, but I feel like this is the masculine being worked on here by the divine, okay? Calling in your soulmate. Yeah, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This person's trying to manifest you. All they can think about is you, really, and having this heart-to-heart -heart, um, communication here. They want to discuss their feelings with you. I feel like it's because, look, they're, they're pulled to you anyway because you're a healer. 
that's why the divine brought you into their life. It's because you're a healer. They're being called to you in this connection. Engagement. Yeah, this was coming out in reverse, though. Um, they may have gotten engaged to, um, to this person they have the trauma bond with. They, maybe they were deceived or this uh, whoever they're with is deceived because um, they're calling off an engagement here. Somebody's calling off an engagement. Okay. Yeah, because they, they don't love that person. They have romantic feelings for you. That's why there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep that relation going or that relationship going. They have romantic feelings with you, and they're worth exploring. Yeah. So pay attention to the Red Flags Collective. I feel like since you're an empath, a healer, you're going to recognize that this person needs some healing. All right? I feel like they are coming towards you. Um, they're being told to. They're really, there's a strong pull. Um, this person's being pulled to you because you're a healer, okay? So they're about to end things with this other individual here and come towards you with um, some kind of offer. They may want to start off as a friend first because this person's still going through something. So just a heads up on that. This person's coming towards you soon, all right? Anyway, um, that's what I have for this reading. I do hope this helps. It's definitely not going to be for all of you, okay? Just want to be clear on that one. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe. If you like this.